Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. Okay, let's see what happens here. So, five minute auto pairing. Man, Dan Drango. Uh, uh, let's play for a night C3 outfitting system. The 2246 is not that high rated at the moment. So, night C3, try and surprise him. Uh, there is someone in the Olympiad, Badger or something, that plays this system as a sort of surprise system. Um, I think e f e4 might be playable here. Because he hasn't got the knight to c6. Um, mind you, he has got e5. e5 might be a pain. I'm going to take that dark square bishop. I hope for the best. <coughs> uh, so, I said bishop b5 of castle's bishop f6. We've got knight f6. Right. Um, I don't know how to play this. Let's just not spend too long. Uh, let me get the queen. I don't know. Uh, what about this bishop over here? Bishop b4. Is that a move? I don't want to be too far behind on the clock at any stage. So bishop b4. I've got the dark square bishop. Could you try and use that. Yes, A5 is coming up. Uh, bishop B5. A5, maybe I should just take. Oh, 92. Ninety two castle queenside or just castle kingside. Ninety two. Keep the dark square bishop for a moment until he plays a5. Okay, is rook f2 possible here? For knight d4, is that? I'm getting in trouble. Um, <clears throat> Knight G3 to F5 might be interesting. Uh, I A5. Bishop E1. Well, at least he's using some time here. That's good news. Uh, so knight g3 to f5, I wonder. To preserve this bishop. So we've got d3 coming up. d3 is a bit of a pain. Um, bishop d2 instead. Bishop g5. Oh, let's, let's do it. Maybe maybe knight g3 and rook c1. Knight d3. Uh, I'm trapping my rook. I, I don't know why I thought that would be good. What about knight c3 there? Knight c3 on d3. dc, rook c2. Not to get the rook trapped. Okay. Uh, get my queen some air. Um, 
it's, I don't know. It's bishop a5, knight b7, knight f5. I get knight f5 and try and untangle. I'm going to try and stop this d3 business. What about queen here to here? Then there's a potential attack. Um, switch the queen over there. He's slowing down, for sure. Less sure about the position. Maybe queen c1 to h6. Or queen c1 to g5, and there's knight f5. All right. Well, this bishop could be useful on h4 later. Queen g5 is hitting h4. Queen h6 as well. Knight d3, thankfully, is not on. There's rook d3. Okay, there's knight f4 business. And queen h6 got queen f6. Um, rook e2, there's rook, okay, rook d2 on that. Okay, I think here or here. Yeah. Um, so rook here and then bishop takes. If I try for this pawn on h4. Okay. This dark squares are pretty good. Uh, it's not happening there, is it? He's holding that uh, position for a moment. So my pieces are a bit stuck. Okay, my queen's stuck as well. It's G3, it's a bit radical. G3 and there's rook f2 after. Um, it's H3 for knight, getting knight to G4. Oh, it's a bit desperate. But I can't see what else to do. He's got such a strong dark square grip. Knight h2 to g4. Exchange of queens. Mm. Um, not really getting out of this bind, am I? <laughs> uh, and play for g3. No, building up on my poor c2 pawn. Okay. Yes, I'm just asking to be knocked out horribly. Is there any downside to his strategy? If I play g3, I get the I get a knight to f5. Check. Oh no, he had rook h6. He missed rook h6. I've got knight e7 now. Can I get rid of this pesky thing? Um, if I in the check, or A3. Uh, a small clock advantage. Not really meaning much. Uh, mm, horrible position. Can I just try and break out like this? It just makes things worse. There's knight. <coughs> Pardon me. There's knight d6. Check. Okay, that might help there. Get rid of one of these guys. Or um, get rook c4 in. Change that rook. Try and take that a pawn after. Um, B4. <coughs> Pardon me. Check. Oh dear. Um. Uh, losing my. Check. Nice pawn. Only got six seconds. Check. Uh, what a horrible.
terrible game. I'm going to say. Check. Check. Well, he must have a time warning by now. Uh, it's a horrible game. Sorry. I forgot how bad it got off. Oh, dear. to shake this cold I thought it was getting a bit better than yesterday but that was horrible yeah just be sat on for most of the game uh, positionally I couldn't get rid of his uh, night oh dear so he's better here it seems yeah it's that C file I thought D3 at some point here yeah. um if he played D3 instead here I've just got this apparently that rook, I don't know. Yeah. If I move the rook, the knight drops. It's weakening. It seems to be weakening the dark squares, but he's got everything under control, it seems. Black seems better to as the engine anyway. Uh, yeah, I didn't. If that h3 wasn't played, I didn't know what else it's mentioning h3. I mean, it gives my knight a square. It's just a ridiculously passive game. It's just ridiculous on the C file and, and the dark square strangulation. Check. But um, yeah, didn't he miss rook h6 around here? Yeah, rook h6. I thought that was a killer uh, for the h3. That was a missed opportunity. I, I doubt if I'm anything more than equal after winning that exchange. All oh, right, it is better after winning the exchange. Check. Just didn't feel like it. Um, Bishop takes f4, as mentioned, and then what? Let's get at this grip. King g3, and if check. Check. King g4. Wow, that's pretty adventurous. <laughs> yeah, that's, I think losing the f3 is not advisable. Right, here is anything better. There's the check, check. for what? b6 here. Bishop takes f4. b7. And then what? The king marching in? Yes, the king marching in. Check. So the pawn could be a lure. Again, taking on f4, apparently. Mind you, he's only got 10 seconds here. Um, and if he goes like this, rook d3. Rook b3, that's, that's pretty neat tactic. Very neat tactic. Check. Check. Okay, yeah, and he's actually. It was actually. Yeah, he's just too short on time. He apparently missed something as well here. That's what I saw. Flicker. Um, King g7. What's going on here? Knight takes e4. Yeah, he's got. He's just too short on time in the end, but a uh, wild game. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.